Greetings everyone and welcome to another Jarison Time informational video. In the following video, we'll be looking at adding and deleting employee reminders. Once we've logged into Jarison Time, we'll head over to the icon bar and click on employee details. From here, we'll head through to the reminders tab and click on that. From there, we'll click on add reminder at the bottom left. After that, we'll see all of the options now available. The first option here, due date, we can click on the calendar selecting which date this reminder should be due on. After that, we can move through to the reminder itself, clicking on the drop down, seeing that we have preset reminders that are displayed. In today's example, we're going to use the medical examination option. After that, we have the comments field where we can input any extra comment for additional points that we would want to be reminded of. After that, we then have the reoccurrence option. Should we want to use it, we can click on the tick box, then also indicating how many months should this reminder trigger each time. If the reminder should be once off, leave it unchecked. After that, we have the warning days. This is then selecting X amount of days to be warned before the actual due date of the reminder. Then we have the option to remove from device, meaning that when this reminder triggers, Jarison Time will remove this employee's templates from any device that it is controlling directly. After that, we then have email notification to employee. Should we want to use that, we also then need to make sure that on the personal one tab, we have the email address of the employee inputted. Moving back to reminders, we then go through to email notification to address or addresses. If we do use this option, the email field will become available to us to add any email which we would like the notification to be sent to, as well as the acknowledge after notification that will also be enabled. After that, we then have the SMS notification. Should we want to send this reminder through with an SMS notification by clicking on SMS notification, we have two options. Send a notification to employee, where we need to keep in mind that the personal one tab has a mobile phone field that will need to be populated for this option to work. If not, going back to reminders, we then have the option of using a cell phone number, being any cell phone number, and we can notify anyone that we want to. After we are done setting all of the options that we want for this reminder, we can then click on save. Also, please note that multiple reminders can be set up if we click add again, and we can change then the second reminder to any of our options that we have here, clicking save once again, and we can then also delete any of these reminders by selecting which one of the reminders we want to delete and clicking the delete reminder button, after which we can then click on save once again. Now that we have dealt with everything from the employer reminders, we can then click on the close button and go on working with Jarrison time. That will be all for the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.